Welcome to Behind the Scenes at ID8 Studios, a place where we explore the art of producing art. I'm Steve Sue, and this is my buddy Crystal Backey, and we're here with Bella Lukalani. Hi. Hi, Bella. So you're going to tell us a little bit about how to find your voice as a singer. Yes. Because you are a singer. I am. How long have you been singing? I've been singing like my whole life. Your whole life, which is how many years? I am 16 years old. You're only 16? Yeah. Punahou student right here, 16 (laughs) years old. She's been singing all her life. Yeah. So how did you find your voice? I mean, what does it even mean to find your voice? Is it, was it lost? Um, not necessarily. (laughs) It just was a little confusing. It was confused because every, I, I, I think that's right. Everybody starts with a confused voice. Did you know that Crystal? No, I did not know that. Yeah, you actually have multiple voices that are confused. Did you know that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes she talks with this kind of gravelly voice. Oh, okay, then yeah. That's your film voice. When you talk about film. I think that's like my nervous uh, voice. You talk like, it's almost like an Elmer Fudd thing. Uh, but then other times <laughs> when you sing, because she's a singer too. Really? I do, I enjoy it's singing. It's beautiful and flowing. It's a completely yeah, different kind yeah, of voice. Yeah, totally, totally. When I sing, it's, it feels different. It sounds different. It's just, I feel like I can listen to myself and I'm so hyper aware of my voice now. <laughs> and it's different, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. So we all, I think, wear masks for different contexts of mm-hmm. voice. So how did you find your voice? Um, well, I started singing when I was really, really little. My mom put me in private voice lessons. Thanks, mom. Yeah, thanks, mom. Yeah. Um, because I did singing as my talent for baby pageants. You were a Beijing pageant girl? Yeah, I never knew that. That's crazy. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, full disclosure, this is my niece. That's how we got her on the show. (laughs) So I have done gingerbread houses with her for years at Christmas time, one of the most fun things ever for Christmas. And she's always like just come out and sing. She's always very like easy to sing. So you were in baby pageants? Yeah. Wow. And and so you have to sing in baby pageants? Is that Um, what your talent? Yeah, for some of them. You have... You need the talent portion. So, so did you sound like a baby? Is that why? You I, had to find your voice away from being baby? Yeah, I definitely sounded like a baby for a while. What does a baby sound like when they're singing in a pageant? They just <laughs> sound like a really little kid having a lot of fun. And so you wanted to sound like an adult mm-hmm. being super awesome. Yes, exactly. And so who is your voice coach? I don't know. But I only went there for a little while, and then I stopped. Um, then I, I've been to a lot of different voice teachers um, over the years. Were there so. difference with them? Some worked, some didn't? or I think, in a way, they all had different tips that they gave me, like different things that they helped me with. So mm-hmm. it all kind of made me the singer who I am today. And so when did you figure out that you you found your voice? What age? Oh, maybe just a few years ago when I started getting more mature and I just kind of realized, oh, I don't really want to sound like this on this song. I mm-hmm. want to like or just making different songs your own, not following the artist whoever sings that song. So you sing covers or what, what type of music do you sing? Um, I sing all kinds of music, mostly like musical theater. And then oh. in a lot of my voice classes, they make me sing like different languages and like old folk songs and stuff like that. So you do this in class? Yeah. What type of class is that? Um, so I've done like a lot of private voice lessons. And then I'm also in a choir called Hearts Hawaii Education of the Arts. Um, which is a really great program. I've been there for a really long time too. And it's kind of like helps you sing better with other people. How big a choir is that? Right now it's pretty small. There's about 15 people in my age Mm -hmm. group choir. Um, but a long time ago when I was in like second grade, it was much bigger. And you're a soprano? I am a soprano. And are you, do, you, do you guys sing show tunes or 
Um, we sing all kinds of songs. So we just had a Christmas concert, so lots of different Christmas tunes, some like a cappella stuff, and then um, musical theater songs as well. Fun, huh? Yeah. yeah. And do you sing anywhere else? Are you, have you been in uh, musical theater plays? Um, I have not. I did like a summer program, a musical theater summer program at DHT a while ago. That was really fun, but I'm not a great like musical theater dancer. Uh -huh. So I think just sticking with the singing is good for me. Unless they need a hula dancer that's singing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you don't, you don't sing when you hula dance. No, so not that really. Can, that's a possibility. If somebody does a musical theater project on hula, you're the girl. Yeah, Cast call that me. Girl. Yeah, call her. Okay, so um, of all these different teachers, that can you maybe tell us some of the little tricks they've taught you to find your voice? Yeah, um, well, like the most important part about singing is your breathing. So you, you sing from your diaphragm, which is like kind of in your stomach area, so whenever you breathe, some people, they like their stomach goes in when they breathe in, but you want to make sure that your stomach like puffs up when you're breathing in because that's all your air filling your lungs. So just breathing, making sure that you're always breathing. You don't want to hold your breath when you're singing, but making sure you're using your breath wisely so you can sing like longer notes without having to breathe. So that's from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. So then what happens above that? Then your vocal cords are obviously what are making the noises and your lips are really important because you don't want to have horizontal lips that'll kind of close your vocal cords and make you sound like more nasally. So you want to make sure your mouth is more vertical and like open, super open. Yeah. Because I, I hear people talk about shaping sound like more vertically. Mm hmm. Yeah. That kind of just creates like, I think, a more fuller sound in your voice. Mm -hmm. And it just helps you sing better. I don't know. What about high notes? High notes? I think something that I actually recently learned about was a lot of people, when they want to sing higher, they like lift their head higher. But you kind of want to drop your chin because if you lift your head, it's closing up your vocal cords more mm. and it's stopping you from singing those higher notes. I've Is heard that, of that. Yeah, you do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I've heard it's like really you helpful. send the energy at back your, on your back of your head and up over. Oh. Over the top, yeah. Particularly if you're doing a head voice. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, because it, if the energy, energy is in the front, then it, 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 most people lock up and then they strain. And once you get tight, you're done. Yeah, you want to relax your, yeah. your whole body. Yeah. Wow, and okay, so those are like more singing techniques, but how do you find the voice that's unique to you? Because there's lots of people, you, you hear all these popular songs and you start singing them in the car and you're sounding like her, like Steve is singing in the car and I'm sounding like Taylor Swift, the way <laughs> Taylor Swift would do it. That's not, that's not Steve's voice, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you find your specific voice? I guess I, I listen to a lot of music, so, I just find kind of what I like from every different artist and then I find like what works best for my voice because I can't sing. I can't sing like Taylor Swift. I probably will never be able to sing like Taylor Swift so I don't want to sing like that. I want to make sure like whatever I'm singing it's gonna fit my voice and it feels comfortable and I guess just sounds nice. Well find your voice too is you know they always talk about making it your own. Like you can sing any song if they uh, if they go like that sounds like somebody else that's not you or if they if you sing it and it's like you're the only person that sang it that way and that's where Simon Cowell goes oh you made it your own that's the the best thing ever right mm -hmm. so what constitutes making it your own why yeah. would he say that I think just adding different things like some people add little riffs and um, they kind of change up the notes a little bit phrasing mm -hmm. yeah the phrasing yeah. like when every note that you sing, what word on, that all is kind of like just making it, making it like it's, it's art. So you can change it up, you can make it however you want. So maybe at some point you find like these things that you do that nobody else does. You color mm -hmm. a note a certain way. You might swoop a note this way or you come down this way on it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It could be a big part of your personality. Like some people are pretty, like they're aggressive. So they're going to talk like that. Yeah, rah, rah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, I don't know. It's very airy, but maybe that's a beautiful thing for a certain context. Yeah. No, definitely. Like different. You can make a song sound however you want, even if it's like about love, but you can make it sound really sad and like um, low, deep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay, I, I don't, I don't really want to put you on the spot, but. On the other hand, I'm super curious <laughs> as to, do you have like like two bars that you could give us that is Isabella's sound? Um, I can try. Try, yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay. Um, it's not simple to say that most days I don't recognize me that these shoes and this apron That place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them. That was dope, girl. I I love love that that. song. Yeah, there was a girl that did something similar to that on um, America's Got Talent, and it completely brought the house down. It was like, feel the lyrics, and that your voice was completely, perfectly matched to those lyrics. Thank you. Yeah, so you did find your own voice for real. Yeah, I think so. So how did you know to do all that vibrato stuff? I mean, that's like, that was extreme, frankly. Um, well, <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. also a little bit of the nerves, but... It's usually not that much? Um, I don't know. I think I just, it kind of sounds different, a little different every time I sing it. Yeah. I guess just whatever I'm feeling in the moment. Everybody sits in that chair, they talk about nerves, and we think... We're just this little tiny podcast, <laughs> Crystal and I sitting in this black stage, and there's almost nobody here, so it's not a big deal. But everyone's like, I'm so nervous. And mm-hmm. everyone from like the top, top performers that have done it for decades, they, they've told us this, that they're nervous. Uh, on a Richter scale, on a scale of one to 10, how nervous were you when you did that? Oh, maybe like a five. That's not bad at all. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Right? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you did good. So will you ever like record a song and is that? Um, I think singing was definitely something I've always kind of wanted to do. I don't know if it were, will turn into like more than just a hobby, but hopefully in the future. Well, at the very least, the choirs are ready for you, right? <laughs> like, yeah, we need you. Just please sign up. We need you. Yeah. You're our first choice. <laughs> By the way, do you solo in, in the choir? Um, not really in the choir, but I've done some like performances at school. Um, yeah, that are solos or duets. Is that scary? Um, it's a little scary, but like on a stage, it's kind of different because when the lights are shining on you, then you can't really see the audience. So you kind of just ignore them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Easy, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'd be terrified. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of responsibility. Everybody's counting on you. But then you're chosen because you got the goods. (laughs) And you have the goods. Thank you. Okay. Okay, So um, anything else you need to know, Crystal, about how to pimp your voice? (laughs) No, I learned a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Isabel, for joining us. Yeah, thank you you for having me. So where can they find you? Um, On Instagram at bella.kuulealoha. Yay. And Crystal, where can they find us? At ID8studios.org. Thank you for joining us. Aloha. Aloha.